Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you guys? How do you feel today? Very good. Very good. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So I can see that we also have, let me see, we have Maurice and we also have Emerson. Um, okay. So how are you, Maurice? How are you, Emerson? I'm fine. Yeah. I'm fine, teacher. Very fine. Okay. So what about your day, Maurice? Good? So so? So so. It was so so. Uh, busy. It was yeah, busy, busy, I think. Very busy. Okay. All right, guys. Well, we're going to start with today's class. Uh, for today's class, we are going to start with today's agenda. And as today, we are going to cover the following. We are going to start with the warm up, then we are going to move to grammar, and we are going to talk about calculating cost of a product, okay? Then we have a listening quiz, we also have reading quiz, and we have the speaking time and the end of the class, okay? That's what we are going to cover today. And as a warm up, we are going to start with a tongue twister. So guys, um, this one goes like this, okay? Betty bought a bit of butter, but the butter Betty bought was bitter. So Betty bought a better butter, and it was better than the butter Betty bought before. This one is for us to practice the letter B sound. Okay, so once again, Betty bought a bit of butter, but the butter Betty bought was bitter. So Betty bought a better butter, and it was better than the butter Betty bought before. Yeah. So let's see. Um, we are going to go one by one. Okay, I would like to hear some of you. So um, let me see. Abigail, you go first. Okay. Can you please say the tongue twister? Betty bought a bit of water, but the water Betty bought was bitter. So Betty bought a better water, and it was better than the water Betty bought before. Okay, very good. Yes. Uh, let me see, Morris. Okay. Betty bought a uh bit of better, but the butter very bow was bitter. So very bow a uh, bitter better and it was better than the better very bow before. Before. Very good. Thank you, Maris. Atilio. Good evening, Atilio. Good to see you. Good evening. Uh -huh. Okay. Pretty bow a bit of butter. But the bullet Betty Bow was bitter. So Betty Bow a uh, bitter butter and is what Betty and the bullet Betty Bow before. Okay, so this one is going to be butter. Butter. Yeah, butter. butter. Yes. Okay, very good. Uh, Roberto Esau? Uh, yes, good evening. Good evening. Uh, Betty Bow a bit of butter. But the butter Betty bought uh, was bitter. So Betty bought a uh, better butter, and it was better than the butter Betty bought before. Very good. Uh, Luis Miguel, are you there? Good evening, teacher. Yes. Good evening. Okay, can you please say it? Betty bought a bit of butter, but the butter Betty bought was bitter. So Betty bought a better butter, and it was better than the butter Betty very Paul before. Very good. Yes. Okay, so Tony. Very bold a bit of butter, but the butter very bold was bitter. So very bold a better butter, and it was better than the butter very bold before. Very good. Butter. Yes, thank you. Carlos Omar. Betty bought a bit of, of butter, 
but the bother Betty Buff was better. So Betty Buff a better bother, and it was better than than the bother Betty Betty, but but before. Before, okay, very good. Um, Emerson, are you there? No, I think Emerson is not there. Okay, guys, um, this one is just for you to practice fluency, okay? Fluency. Try to practice it once you are at home, right? So you can uh, improve a little bit your fluency and pronunciation. So now let's start with today's um, information. So we are going to start. Good evening. We are going to start by talking about idioms, okay? So we have two. Um, Luis Miguel, help us reading under the weather. And Carlos Omar, help us reading an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Sorry for the doc. Um, under the weather meaning no feeling well. Example, my boss was under the weather yesterday. Very good. Yes. Only this or the next? No, or... just that one. An apple a day keeps the doctor away, meaning eating healthy food will keep one from getting sick and need, need to see a doctor. Example, how, a, how an apple for a snack instead of those cheats. An apple a day keeps the doctor away after all. Thank you. Very good. Okay, guys. So we have two idioms right here. One is going to be under the weather. That means not feeling well. For example, if you feel under the weather, so that means that you feel probably sad, right? That you don't feel in a good mood. So the example that we have, my boss was under the weather yesterday right or i was under the weather yesterday or you were etc yeah then we also have an apple a day keeps the doctor away which is very common in english okay the meaning is that you need to well actually eating healthy um keeps you away from getting sick yeah and we have the example have an apple for a snack instead of those chips right or not uh, actually drink soda, drink water, right? An apple a day keeps the doctor away after all, yeah? So this one is for you to um, get more vocabulary, okay? Those are phrases, those are idioms. Now, guys, we're going to start by talking about the following, okay? So let's start by talking about calculating costs of a product, yeah? So what is it? Why is it important? Why is important to calculate cost of a product? So let me see. Uh, I need one volunteer to read this paragraph about calculating yes, costs. Okay, thank you. Go. Okay. Calculating the cost of a product refers to the process of deter determine, uh, determining the expenses associated with the production of manufacturing of a particular item mm -hmm. by accurately calculating the cost of a product, business can make informed decision about the pricing, profit margin, cost optimization, and resource allocation, which mm -hmm. are essential for effective finance, financial management and long-term sustainability. Sustainability, yes, guys, okay. So in this case, um, let me go ahead and just remove that, yes. Okay, first, let's focus on pronunciation, yeah? Uh, just two words in this case, the first one is going to be associated and this one is going to be um, accurately, yes? So, very good, yes, thank you. Okay, guys, when it comes to calculating cost of a product, what we mean is the following, okay? So we mean, uh, or we refer to the process of determining the expenses associated with the production or manufacturing of a particular item. Yeah, basically it's going to be the cost, right? Yeah, I mean, you get the idea, right? So uh, now here, let's talk about vocabulary, yeah? 
What is the meaning of resource allocation? It says um, businesses can make informed decisions about pricing, profit margins, cost optimization, and resource allocation. Could be a building. Could be a building, okay. Uh -huh. Resource allocation. Rent. When you rent. Okay. Yes. Actually, the resource allocation is going to be como um, los, uh, la asignación de recursos. Yes. That is the meaning. La asignación de recursos. Yeah. Yes. Now, what is the meaning of sustainability? In long term, sustainability. Get a positive um, ganancias, no sé cómo se dice. Profits. Profits. Okay, yes. Yes, we can say that it could be a synonym. Yeah. So sustainability is going to be sustainability, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, very good. So now, this is when it comes to calculating costs of a product, okay? It's just the process of determining the expenses. What is the meaning of expenses? High cost. Yes, all right. The costs. The costs, yes, right? So the things that you are going to pay, yes? The expenses. Yeah, los gastos. Very good. Okay, guys. So now let's move. Let me ask you, okay? Do you agree that regardless of the size of a business, analyzing costs is essential to make profit? Ganancias? Profit. Yeah? So do you think that is it essential to um, actually, you know, do this type of analysis? the cost analysis, regardless of the size of a business? Why? Because if you don't have profits, you can continue with the, pro with the project. Yes, that is correct. Guys, um, what is the meaning of regardless? Como considerar? Um, Okay, but in, in this case, regardless means independientemente. Do you agree that regardless of the size of a business, analyzing costs is essential to make profit, right? Independientemente del, la, si es grande, pequeño, del tamaño del negocio, right? Independientemente del tamaño del negocio. Regardless is independientemente. That is the minute, yeah? So, okay. Um, let me see. Jonathan, help us reading this information. Okay. Uh, cost analyzing is fundamental aspect of financial management, management and okay. plays a crucial crucial role determine, determining the profitability in financial health of a business. Here's why analyzing cost is important. Mm -hmm. Cost control, pricing decisions, profit uh, margin calculation, etc. Yes, thank you. Well, guys, here we have just um, probably a short opinion, right? In this case, um, it is fundamental. Why? Because of that financial management. management very good and plays a crucial role in determining yeah in determining the profitability what is the meaning of profitability rentabilidad de algo yeah rentabilidad and financial health of a business yeah um so guys, what is a synonym for crucial? 
What is crucial? What is another word for crucial? Important. Excellent. Okay. Important. Determinant. Okay. Yes. Mm, it could be also, um, it is like, I would say, better important. And plays an important role. Instead of you saying important, you can use crucial. Okay. It is um, crucial. It is important. Um, okay. So, guys, uh, we also have some fixed expenses. Yes. What is the meaning of fixed expenses? What do you think are fixed expenses? What comes to your mind when you hear fixed expenses? When you okay. save money. When you save money, okay. There are all, all costs that are uh, no change, no change, the costs that are no change in the company. Excellent, okay. Perfect. Are those uh, expenses that do not change within a company? We all, actually, in, in our personal life, we all have fixed expenses as well, right? But in a company, a lady that you actually uh, sent the, the, the definition, and that is correct. Okay. So fixed expenses within a company could be the following. Okay. So we have rent or lease payments. Yeah. So what is the meaning rent or lease payments? Those are the same, no? Uh, the same? Probably, but the, for example, in the vehicle, it never be yours. You have to pay for many years, so you or, or only rent mm -hmm. when you need the, the vehicle. Yes, that is correct. So uh, the lease payments are just uh, the el pago por arrendamiento. But in, in, yes. the car, in, in, the, in the case of the car, um, I try to say it, this in Spanish. Uh, puedes rentar un vehículo, pero creo que leasing te van actualizando el, el, el <clears throat> ¿cómo se llama? El año del vehículo para tener el último modelo y todo eso. Yes, I think that there are some mm -hmm. probably uh, things that we need to follow, right? Uh -huh. Yes, Tony. It's a rent with a um, by promise. Okay. Renta con una promesa de, de venta. De venta. Al final, uno da un monto bien pequeño, pero el artículo es de uno. Okay. Very good. Uh, para, in, 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 in Salvadorian terms, the of mm -hmm. autonomy. Okay. Very good. So now we also have salaries and wages. What is the difference between salaries and wages? What do you think, guys? Mm -hmm. It's not as synonymous, I, I think. Those are synonyms, but in this case, um, there is, uh, um, I would say, a slight difference. It's like a... In United States salaries, you have salary for month, for month, and wage. I think is the base is for weeks. <laughs> per week, something like right? that. Or I, per I hours. Mm -hmm. Per hours. Yes. So the it's salary. Like that. Yes, it's like that. That is correct. The salary is actually your salary, the one that you receive every single month, right? But the wages are the ones that they pay per week or per hour that at the end, they are synonyms, yes? But you receive a salary. Okay, so we also have fixed expenses within a company, utilities, right? Insurance premiums or insurance, yeah? Loan payments, sometimes companies, they do have loan payments, right? Lease payments for equipment. I think that this one is the, the category, the lease payments for equipment, okay? Uh, we also have equipment uh, depreciation, 
and licenses and permits and subscription fees. Of course, there are many others. There are many others, guys. Yeah. What is the subscription fees? Yeah, for example, sometimes the companies, for example, right, if they are, um, if they have a school, they need to pay for platforms, right? Yeah, oh, for okay. different platforms, yes, that they use, right? In the case of companies, they pay for some systems, right, to keep updated the records of, of customers or clients or candidates in the human resources department, right, etc. Uh -huh. Those are subscription fees. Okay, so now guys, this is, this is just vocabulary for you, right? To get more ideas about fixed expenses within a company, yeah? So let's move and let's talk about the information that we have from the book, okay? So we have this um, reading, give me one second that it, yeah. I need three volunteers. One is going to be uh, the cost of production. One is going to read the cost of production. The other one, market demand for a product or service. And the last one, determining the markup of a product. Okay. Number one, teacher. Number two, Tony. And I think that uh, Carlos. Luis. Oh. Okay. Thank you, Luis. Okay. Yeah, you go next. Marius, Tony, and Carlos. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The cost of production. Yeah. Fixing and variable cost determine the selling price price of the business firm product. Fixed costs include items such as the rent for your office or manufacturing space. Yes. Variable cost include eating that chain with your cell volume, mm -hmm. like labor and material. Mm -hmm. In printing your product, first determine how much of your fixed and variable cost go into the processing each unit of your product. Although it may Maybe a difficult calculation, a simple form, formula, formula, formula? To help you, formula to help you is to add your total fixed cost to your total variable cost. Mm -hmm. Then you divide the total by your estimated total sale. You will have then your cost of production per unit. Okay. Now you have to sell the product for less this amount in order to cover the cost of production. Mm -hmm. yes. Market demand for a product or service. Yes. Market demand for a product or a service is the second factor that the business owner should consider when pricing a product. The law of demand is that there is an inverse relationship between demand and price. As price falls, demand rises, and as a price rises, demand falls. Demand for your product is just an import, as important to consider when setting a price as the cost of production. There is usually a positive or direct relationship between consumer income and demand. As a consumer's income goes up, so does demand for a product. Yes. Determine the market of a product. Regardless of the type of a small business, market is the amount you add to the cost of your product. Yeah. To the, determine, determine the selling price. The market percentage is the, determine, determined by the amount of your planet profit. Okay. The type of the product or, or service you are selling, how rapidly, rapidly the product sells, and the amount of service performed by the sellers. Okay. 
Thank you. All right, guys. Well, in this case, the cost of production, uh, we covered that at the beginning, right? In simple words. Okay, what is the cost of production? Uh -huh. What was the cost of production, guys? Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, in, in, okay, in your own words, what is the cost of production? I think that is the unit coster, units cost of a product when you totalize all the all the parts or components of the product and service and divide between um, um, between the mm -hmm. The, the the total of the production. I, I don't know if I explained very well, yeah. but yes, that is the, the idea. Okay. All right. Very good. Yes. All right, guys. Um, we also have the market demand for a product or service, which is very important for a business. Because listen to this. As prices fall, demand rises. And as prices rise, demand falls. This one is very important, is crucial. Uh -huh. And we also have pronunciation, guys, determining. Yeah, determining. And this one is determined. All right, not determined, determined. Yeah, determined, not determined, okay? Determined, yes. So determining the markup of a product. Yes, what is the meaning of determining the markup of a product? What do we mean? What is it? The markup of a product. The label price. Okay. The label price. The, uh, mm, yes. Yes. Yeah, we can say that. Yeah, the markup of a product. Okay. Um, okay, so in this case, we have. The markup is the amount you add to the cost of your product to determine the selling price. So in other words, guys, the markup of a product is going to be el rango de ganancia. The profit. Yes, your profit. Is the way you determine the price? Is the way that you determine. You determine the price like... Uh, um, Porcentaje. Correct. Is a percentage. Is percentage. Correct. Yes. Is a percentage. And it, it says right. Uh huh. You determined the the, the first the ¿cómo sería? Porcentaje. Percentage. Percentage. If you determine you. You determine. Profit. If you determine mm -hmm. if you need mm, twenty percent of profit. Yes. It's like that. Yes, correct. So you determine that the markup, I mean, you, right? As the owner, you determine the price of the product because you need to get the markup. That means the profit. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is like that. You can set 10%, 20%. I mean, yes, right? 100. <laughs> yes, uh, well. That would be great, right? Okay, so now let's see. Uh, let us let me ask you a couple of questions. I have answered some of them already, okay? But I will ask you number two and four, but help us reading the question and the answer. Please, Emerson, number one, 
Uh, Luis Miguel, number three, the one that is already um, answered. And the last one, number five, please. Um, let me see if I have Carla. Yes, uh, number five. What are the most important factors to be considered when setting a price for a product? Mm -hmm. The cost of production make, make it demand for a product or service and make up the business expect to the get. Yeah, the three points that we cover, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Three. What are examples of variable costs, raw materials, packing and shipping, direct manufacturing costs? Yes. Mm -hmm. In the last one. Number five, what, what variable? How do you Variables. Variables. Yes. What variables influence to determine the markup percentage? Yes. The amount of planet profit, mm -hmm. the type of the product or service, how rapidly, rapidly the product sells, and the amount of service per performed by the seller yes okay those are thank you those are examples yeah of variables okay and now what is the meaning of raw materials raw materia prima materia prima yes now guys let's recall can you tell me what are some examples of fixed costs fixed expenses Rent or rent. Listen. What else? Salaries. Salaries. Okay. Uh huh. And wages. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So now, um, what about number four? How does market demand affect the pricing of the product? How? According to the reading, how, okay, how does market demand affect the pricing of your product? Low demands. Yes. Yeah, we can say that in this case, as prices fall, demand rises. And as prices rise, demand falls. So that actually affects, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, guys. That was about um, that short reading, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So now let's move. And right now we are going to move to the speaking time. Yeah, we're going to have a speaking today. So we're going to start by covering some of the questions that we didn't cover yesterday. Um, we're going to start by talking about business. Yeah, what kind of business would you like to start? Yeah, do you think anyone can start their own business? Yes or no, and why? Mm, well, okay, what do you think? What are the dangers of having your own business? What are? I need examples, right? Support your answer. Would you include your own name in your business? Why in your business name? Why yes, why not, right? Do men or women make more successful business people? What do you think? All right. What advice would you give to people starting in business? Yeah, I want you to support your answers. Try to speak as much as you can. Yeah, and then we, we also have more questions. Yeah, which of the following do you believe in? You have a lot of things right there. Yeah, once you finish with this, of course, you talk about the ones that interested you. Um, is body language important? Do you think that, um, okay, let me ask you this, okay? Is body language in, important, guys? Yes, yes, yes. it's important. It's important, okay, okay. Then we have those four questions right there, okay. And then we are going to come back because we still have more activities that we are going to do, okay. So we are going to practice. And do you have any question right now? 
If not, let's open the class. Okay, let me, um, let me see. Yes, okay. Now you can share your screen once you are in the breakout rooms. Um, okay. Mm, yes. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, somebody can share the screen. Okay. If you want, a uh, wait a moment when I share the screen. Okay. Okay. Can you see the screen? Yes. Yes, okay. Uh, the first one is what kind of pieces would you like to start? Uh, in my case, um, maybe a uh, business for beauty, beauty business, or decoration. Sorry, can you repeat, please? Um. Maybe a beauty business or decoration. Okay. And you? And you, you Atilio, what kind of business would you like to start? Uh, in my case, um, I, I would like to have a restaurant. There is. Okay. Yes, restaurant. What food? <laughs> About what food? It's, how do you say gratis? Free. It's, it's free today. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Me too. In my case, uh, uh, actually, my family have a, a little kind of restaurant. No, I don't know. It's uh, comedor, uh, teacher in English. <laughs> like a, it could be a small restaurant. A small restaurant, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. In, of, of typical food, see, right? Mm -hmm. I like to, to, to put my, my own small restaurant about, for example, Mexican food because uh, and typical food is about So I think that it's very good. Okay. The next, uh, say, what are the dangers of having? your own business mm -hmm. um maybe the instable in this let's say economy is stable okay yes yes it's very dangerous unstable oh, right uh economy. Yes, it could be. I mean, let me let me process my idea. Okay, so inestabilidad económica, no? Yes. Yes. Okay, so it could be economic instability. Okay. Economic instability. Economic instability. Yeah. Uh huh. Yes, that is true. Because um, sometimes raw material or material that you need mm -hmm. to produce or sell something um, have a high price. Yes, that is true. Yes, yes I think that if you don't have good planning, planification for the company, 
is the, the company can uh, cook broke. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. So you, you can you can lose a lot of money to the company. Yes. Yes, that is correct. You can lose a lot of money, right? So your yes. business can close down as well. I mean, there are a lot of actually disadvantages, right? But yes. there are also advantages, I think. So, yes, yes. For that reason, it's important the, the analysis of the mm -hmm. company, right? Yes. yes, that is correct. Okay. What about you, you Atilio? Um, the... Instability economy, teacher. Economic instability. Economic instability. Uh -huh. I'm not uh, having many client. Client. Do not have. Okay. Okay. The, there are not uh, profit. Exactly. Yes. No profits, right? Mm -hmm. That could be another disadvantage. Yes. In my case. Uh, I am experiment. Um, trying. How do, how do you say quiebra? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, quiebra could be like bankrupt. Uh, it could be a bankrupt. Yes. Bankrupt. Okay. Um, guys, have you tried to actually start your own business? Have you tried at some point? Uh, in my case, I sell um product for my skin. The oh, skin. really? Yes. But not anymore, or, or you still sell it? Um. Yes, I sell. Uh, okay. Actually, yes. Okay. Um, yes. Okay. But it's okay. not my. Okay, I work and I sell in my free time. Got it. Okay. All right. Um, in the other ones, no. In my case, uh, in my family, uh, uh, I help with my mom to to a uh, to a small restaurant about a uh, typical food um combination cuisine with with Mexican food, right? Mm -hmm. But it's a small business, but it's it's. It's good. Cool. Uh -huh. It's good, right? Okay, so now, guys, whenever you want to say, for example, que no es su principal fuente de ingresos, you can say, yeah, I do have a small business, but it's not my first source of income. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah. It's not first income. Okay, in my, in my case, no. But in my, for example, my mom, yes. 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 Is the, the first income. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. All right, guys, continue. Okay. okay. Uh, I... <laughs> I use the name about the the business. <laughs> I, I I think it, it is not creative to use my my own name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. You can what is what is the question please sorry <laughs> would you include your own name in your business name no i like i like uh, another name for example and uh, uh, i don't know a a typical name or or name and uh, focus in my country I, I think it is more um pistos uh, for other people. In my case, I include the, my nickname or a pool, what nickname. do you say? A pool? Yeah. Nickname. nickname. And what is your nickname, Carla? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me exhibiste. <laughs> Uh, many fr friends call me Caro. <laughs> Caro? Yes. <laughs> okay, but why if your name is Carla? Uh, because in Japanese is Carla. And, 
and my friend's short snake car. <laughs> Got it. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. It's a good name, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. What advice would you give to people starting in business? Uh, keep it up and don't give up. I think. Study more uh, mm -hmm. to learn about the market. The market. And take, studying, you will take the best decision. To take probably marketing courses, right? Right. Yeah, things like those, I think, as well. Right. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? Make a um, uh, my, what do you say? My studio mercado, the market research, market research, market research. Yes, a good, an excellent, right? Market research, uh -huh. so you can have a lot of profit uh -huh. and do not close down, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Continue. Yes. In the case of the person are, how do you say, emprendedor? Emprendedor. Emprendedor. Mm. No. How do you say emprendedor, teacher? Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Entre entrepreneur. 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 Excellent. Okay. Yeah. We had a question for you. Do men or women make more successful business people? Oh, for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So <laughs> do men or women make more successful business people? <laughs> Okay, if you ask me, if you ask me. <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm going to, well, I think that uh -huh. maybe, okay, maybe, maybe because of emotional intelligence, maybe because of that, I would say men. Okay, what do you think we, we say about and, this question? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I think we are women, yes. Okay, but yes, but women, we are more organized. And yes, I think that exactly. we have to yes. But because of emotional well, intelligence, I would say men. But because of the skills, I would say women. Hmm. So, okay. uh, yeah, at the end, I think that mm, 50 and 50, right? I mean, it's kind of difficult to have a decision, but I think that it depends on the person at the end. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. First, you get married. The second <laughs> one, you. <laughs> yes, you, you look for a your partner, audience. right? Yes, you look for a partner that has that emotional intelligence that you are missing, right? So yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. We had a one entrepreneur in this group. Entrepreneur, really? Who? Yes. Raise your hands. Who is, oh. the, who is the entrepreneur <laughs> here? Morris? Carlos. Morris? Love. Carlos Vladimir. Okay. That is good. Guys, what do you think are the advantages or disadvantages or the dangers of having your own business? Mm. If you don't. If you don't have a demand, probably you work in a few months. Um, um, if you don't have initial capital, mm -hmm. probably you don't do the, no, sorry. Probably you have to do the things for a better way. Yes. Um... Okay. The dangerous is if you don't have money. E economic money. stability, yeah. Yeah, economic stability. Yeah. Okay. 
Well, yeah, there are many dangers, I think, right? But, but at the end, I think that they, there are also a lot of advantages, right? Teacher, you think uh, with that knowledge ab about the industry, uh, you don't get successful business? Mm, I mean, if you have the knowledge, I think that, yes, Do you, you can. Have did not if you don't have a, a knowledge about the industry no okay. um, no i think that no okay it's not the same thing the um, mechanic open uh, a bakery is he, he don't have experience for that but mechanical probably need to open a mechanical workshop okay Yes, but you know what? I think that um, there are many businesses, okay, that's what I think. There are many business, businesses that, um, that the owners are not the ones that perform the job. They just- Like a safe job. Yes. They do not perform the job. They just have the business and people do the job, right? And they only are... they control the talent of the people correct they organize it. Ah, okay i uh -huh. say my 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 mind yeah because we can i mean we can start a business that we don't know about but if we have the okay. right team we can go ahead and be successful i think right okay we just have the money right and then the other ones have the talent mm -hmm. <laughs> okay next yeah. oh. Only okay. this picture or okay. the next? The next ones as well, please. Yes. Go and save it. And um, not, no, not always I see the people when I talk with them, mm -hmm. uh, but maybe... Very distracted. Huh? Distracted. Distracted. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm distracted. <laughs> yes, you are distracted. Mm -hmm. Yes, and sometimes maybe maybe it when um the people are very um partial. Encomienda in Spanish, partial. I don't know, teacher. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I work with a with a parcel in Santa Ana, but the cost is most uh, uh, very 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 high, and uh, but I uh, in this moment I start my business. Right now, uh, with with this company, uh, I talk with QuickBooks. The law is 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 a little for example the price yeah, is more yeah, more yeah the price cheaper. is yes cheaper you uh -huh, yeah you 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 have a uh low cost with this company it's more effective it's very fast um for example when i buy right now today uh i i buy today and uh, 10 oh. or 12 days I I have my package in, in my house. Okay. The yes, product, very fast. The product goes to US and then comes to from to El Salvador. Uh, from and China, from China to the US and the US for my work, for my house. Okay. But the uh, here in El Salvador, they have a uh, uh, many <laughs> Yes. But you're lucky. You uh, you dream, and I cannot dream. I rarely dream yes. something. I dream every day, and nice. some are crazy. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> it's body language. Is body language important? Teacher, How what is body language? Body language. Like, like grammar. Uh, no, for example, like probably 
shaking your hands, standing up whenever you meet somebody new, right? Wow. Uh, saying like goodbye, like making eye contact. Using uh, gestures. Gestures. Uh -huh. Gestures. Okay. Yes. How much notice do you take of other people's body language? Um, I I I understand them. I I watch them a lot when people use body language. Mm -hmm. um, I I don't know why, but I I I, I always watch uh, the way that the other people moves. Okay. And you, Carla, do you how much uh you notice right other people body language? How much? A lot, nothing, it's not relevant for me. It's Maybe not relevant because I never look as ah, como. You never look at others, I mean, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Carla. Mm -hmm. You, Carlos? Okay. You, Carlos? Yes. I, I love. A lot? A lot, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. How do you feel if someone may name fixes a contact when they are talking to you? <laughs> Depends the people, but it's me. Sometimes I feel nervous. <laughs> Um, I I I don't feel anything because I I sometimes watch the eyes of other people, but it is not always so. If they are watching me, I more the time I I I um I don't notice if they are watching me or not. So I, I don't get nervous. Okay. Carlos? Mm, I feel uh, eh, como que si no le tuviera importancia a la conversación, como como es. Mm, I mean como si usted no le tuviera importancia la conversación o como si la otra persona. Como si la otra persona no, no le tuviera importancia. Mm, ok, so you can say, I, I think that the other person doesn't really care about the conversation. Ok. I think. I think the that, other person that the other person uh, don't care doesn't doesn't care the conversation about the conversation about the conversation. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. <laughs> All right. Do mm -hmm. people shake hands when they meet in our country? Uh, Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, I think that yes, right? I mean, not all, but most of them, most yes. Of them. Most, most of them, yes, but not all. Okay. How do you feel if somebody touches you when you're speaking? Ah, I don't like <laughs> Okay. I don't like yes. Sometimes, somebody touch me. <laughs> I, I don't like somebody touching me. 
touching. Yeah. I think that this is very common. Sometimes people do, I mean, different things, right? They, they, mm -hmm. they touch you when they are. <laughs> In my job, uh, when we meet, mm -hmm. uh, for example, yesterday, my boss uh, told us to a meeting and suddenly he grabbed my, how do you say, ombro? Shoulder? He grabs, he grabs my shoulder and- With, with the hand? Talking. Yeah, uh, yeah. He grabs me on, on my shoulder and kept talking to the other CEO and and I was like eh, eh. okay yes okay yeah that was strange uh -huh, yeah. okay sometimes it feels kind of strange right like weird but okay sometimes people are like that okay I don't like it I think it's not necessary okay you don't like it yeah. Okay. All right. I we really, really when the people uh touch touch me. Mm -hmm. O oh, es muy cariñoso, ¿cómo se dice? Mm. Lovely. No. Uh, mm. Yes, could be, but. Yes, you can say lovely. But let me see. Um, ah. <laughs> Do you agree or disagree with that penalty? Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> hard, hard question. Yes. Uh -huh. I 50-50. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, so uh, time. Um, in order for you to say es muy cariñoso, instead of saying lovely, we can say is very affectionate. 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 It's very affectionate, okay? That is that is too affectionate. I don't like it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Affectionate. Do you agree or disagree with this pen? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, um, absolutely. I'm not, uh, how do you say enemy? Enemy. Enemy. Oh, yeah. Enemy. Yeah, yeah. enemy. Nah, no, no good. No good. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> uh, <in Kura>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we finished this. You finished? Yes. Did you oh, oh, did you already cover the okay? Let me ask you then. Do you agree or disagree with death penalty? Can you repeat, please? Okay, yeah, scroll down. Yes, please. I mean scroll down. Scroll down. Yes, that one. Oh. Ah, okay, okay, sorry. So, no, we haven't finished, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. Those are you controversial agree? questions. Yes. Okay. Do you agree or disagree with the penalty? Uh, the penalty is like um, penalty of murder? Yes. Yes, yes. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe um depends the what or what um somebody did before for for, mm -hmm. for that. Mm -hmm. But um I think that sometimes that is not um a huge castigo. Uh, for punishment. A, 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 a huge punishment and mm -hmm. I think that somebody maybe um say something um in in life. Okay. Yes. 
<laughs> but uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe yes. Maybe, maybe yes. <laughs> okay, you agree or 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 no? I mean, fifty and fifty. It, something. Sometimes I think sometimes because um maybe uh, I, maybe um sometimes uh a person exists. No, there I person. There, there, there are people. Maybe there are people that um they have uh or they live in um do good things in life. Mm -hmm. And yes, maybe yes. Okay. And you, Roberto? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I think you muted yourself. Uh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Oh. Uh, in general, I think I am disagree with. Oh, I, I disagree. I but disagree. <laughs> I disagree. Yes, but in, like in all in the life, uh, there are some exceptions. <laughs> there are some exceptions uh, because it depends of the the gravity of the actions, right? Mm -hmm. Because, for example, a person who who kills twenty people for example okay <laughs> that is uh, uh i think that uh, why not <laughs> because he's a person <laughs> that probably never uh, we won't change mm -hmm. yes okay right. all right and you what do you i don't you don't i agree, I agree. goes again my religion Okay, you yes. you disagree because of the religion, okay? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. yes, I think that this topic is very controversial, right? Yes. Because it depends. It depends on the, I mean, it depends on the point of view. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Okay. Sure. All right. So, well, we already answered one and two. What about number three? Torture can be considered depending on certain circumstances. You know, guys, uh, torture is, I think that it is still practiced. Uh, but yeah. in some countries, right? In yes, some in some countries. Practice. I'm not really sure, and I do not remember if it is in Japan. Okay. But it is in one of those countries. I don't remember if it is in Japan, but um, I remember that I read something about that, that they use torture. Okay. In, in my case, I, I with that, I, I, I totally disagree mm -hmm. with the torture. I, I, I am more uh, agree with, with a death penalty. Okay. <laughs> that we Come do on. that. <laughs> no, <laughs> okay. Because because uh, if a person who who made, uh, for example, a, a rabbit action, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I think that uh, why torture the person, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because uh, always, anyways, the, the person probably or the country that practice that action probably. Uh, kill the, the person after okay. torture the mm -hmm. person yes i think that it, it is depend right it depends uh, now um okay vocabulary okay instead of saying uh i think that you say gravity right okay. uh, we can say severity oh, okay severity okay Severity, yes, severity, like the gravedad, right? I mean, gravity is como la gravedad del space, right? But uh, la gravedad de una acción, about an action, it could be severity, yeah? Severity. Severity. And como severidad. We, como severidad, ajá, como mm -hmm. gravedad, pero de una acción, right? Mm -hmm. Severity. Y también si queremos decir como acción grave, we can say serious action, right? It depends if it is a serious action or, or no, right? or a major action as well. Major, de, 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 de severo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Ajá. Yes. 
Yes. I mean, mm -hmm. serious, serious action or severity, right? Which is gravedad. Very good. Okay. Yes. Okay, guys. Now, um, let's continue. Okay, let's continue. And I need you to work right now on the following. Scroll down. Very good. Now, let's work on this review. Yeah, what we have learned on uh, Tuesday uh, and uh, actually in Monday, right? So what I need you to do is that I need you to change the direct questions into indirect questions. Yeah, all of them. Okay? All of, okay. Yes, please work on that, all right? Okay. Guys, can you please scroll down? Okay. I want you to work on this. So we have direct questions and I want you to change those to indirect questions, okay? With the information that we already studied, yeah, yesterday and on Monday, okay? No, okay. Yes, okay. all of them, thank you. I saw uh, like a... Uh like an airplane but i don't know if if, if was my mind okay. no. Ahí guys, number three. can you please scroll down okay scroll okay. down 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 yes Bravo. Very good. Guys, I want you to work on this. Direct questions, and I want you to change those into indirect with the topic that we have covered this week. Yeah, all of them. Okay? Okay. Okay, Miss. Thank you. Uh, sorry, guys, I have... Um, uh, very nice place. Don't worry, Luis Miguel. Okay, guys, try to work on this, okay? And if you need help, try to ask each other, okay? Thank you. Let me see. I use... Demonstrate that that it exists, but uh, I don't know. Maybe because the comprehension of the of the universe for me is so big, so large, so huge that I think that it's possible that have another type of of life. Maybe not intelligent, maybe intelligent, but it's so huge the universe that is a probability that. As is on provoba, on provoba, on provoba, it's improbable, on provoba, um, unbelievable. It's unbelievable that that <laughs> okay. it doesn't exist more life. Uh, in in this in in this galaxy, the Milky Way <laughs> have ten thousands of solar systems. Okay, ten thousand of millions. Sorry for the for the for the zeros. Ten thousand of million uh, that solar systems, and this is one galaxy. Maybe you think the universe have a million of million that that galaxies, and the probability that we are alone in this space is is too short. I think that uh, uh, the life. Well, expands by different weight, and I think that it's possible that uh, we no are alone in the universe. Mm -hmm. I think that, but, and but <clears throat> I don't know. And someone believe in in the horoscope? No. The horoscope? Horoscope? No. The, no. The uh, horoscope. You need to to. to if you want horoscope, to smile yes. a, a few seconds reading, it's okay, but 
Me va Ok, a estar aquí está mi I consider, I consider that the in the horoscope, horoscope, right? Horoscope, horoscope. Horoscope. Only believe the the millennium. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't that know. is true. No, yeah, I, I agree. I, I agree. have, a, I have a, a co-worker. He's around 20, 20 years, 20, 21, I guess. I don't remember the 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 age exactly. But I, he asked me about my birthday. Oh my I, god! And I said it was uh, on December, and and, I, and she told me, "Oh, you are I don't know how to, how to say in English Capricorn." Capricorn. Capricorn. You are. Oh Capricorn. my. Okay. And you are a, a bad person. I feel I don't know you. What the fuck? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> It was a, it's, it's was a, a, in that time was a, a funny moment. Yes, yes, okay, mm, okay, but now, well, what do you think? What do you believe, Aleida? Solo cuando hablo. Solo cuando hablo de las mujeres, entonces ahí sale Aleida y escucha. ¿Really? Okay. Oh my God, no, Aleida is working. Okay. But I have an opinion about the vendors, the, the men vendors uh, talking about cars. And oh. I say that the, the people that likes to buy a car prefers a gender male when you choose when you need to have about the cars mm -hmm. and then later no it's not possible because the men not only the not only not only know about the cars the women okay. are very very easy and then and she explained um her experience because okay. she have a, a Mitsubishi mirage okay and she knows about the motor she know about the old chain she know about the um, the uh, repuestos the uh, accessories uh -huh. uh, she knows about uh, uh, so much of, of uh, the car of his car and 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 she thinks i think that the women are very very good to sell the cars not uh -huh. only the men um maybe um if i think that the ghosts are women Okay. Maybe she explain or say something. <laughs> no, I think that she's busy, Tony. <laughs> okay. Hey, I was joking. Really. Yes, okay. No, she's busy, I think. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, another another thing that I I I want to believe is in vampire and zombies. <laughs> no. <laughs> Well, I don't know, right? Zombies, well. Drunk, maybe. <laughs> Zombies are the drunken men. <laughs> okay. If you, are, if you are very drunk, you come back to, to your house two days later. Could be. You yes. look like zombie. I look a very, a very, uh, a very, uh, um, territories of zombies. Okay. All right. <laughs> and you, Tishara? No, I, well, mm, you know, I think that, well, intelligent life on other planets, I think that maybe. Possible. I mean, yes, it is possible. As you said before, eh, Tony, it is impossible that we are alone. Right? Uh -huh. I mean. It's so long, the universe, that you don't be alone. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Include yeah. in, in the solar system, maybe the. The, maybe it's not an intelligent life, maybe some microscopic life in Mars or okay. another moon uh, uh, about uh, the, the solar system in, in, in include Jupiter, 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 Jupiter have a lot of moons and yes, it's has. possible that, that, that uh, one of these moons have a, a microscopic life. That yes. is the beginning of the of the life, like we know in in this in, in this world. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is correct. I think the same. Okay, guys. Um, 
Okay, can you please scroll down? Down, 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 down. So right now the other teams are working on this, okay? okay. So yes, um, what we need to do is that we need to change the direct question into indirect question. Yes, okay. by applying the rules that we covered Yesterday, yesterday and on monday yes it is your decision which rule right if you are going to start with a phrase or with a question it is your decision okay okay All right i've finished you have finished your homework yeah if you have finished Trauma, trauma. I would like to know if you. Trauma. <laughs> Guys. Okay. Number one, I would like to know if you have. Let me see. Have. 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 Um, okay, give me one second. I'm going to close the window because it is so windy. I think that it's going to rain. Yes. Um, I would like to know if you have ever traveled over. Okay. But number two is the one that I'm, I'm looking at right now. Guys, i like to know if you, what is the simple pass? Let me see. Can you please move a little bit to the right? Oh, oh, oh right yeah like that did you enjoy the movie i like to know if you guys which is the simple pass of enjoy yeah. um is a uh, misclick enjoyed yes uh, enjoying it enjoying it <laughs> yes i was like oh my god what is that bear <laughs> okay yeah, yes enjoy enjoy the en just eat it. Yes. Why eat it? No. Enjoy. Why? The first, the first. I don't know. <laughs> yes, it is much better. Oh. Okay. Would you mind? Let, would you mind? Okay. Whenever we we use would you mind, the verb goes in ing. So would you mind letting me know? No, let me Yes. What time is the meeting? Okay. I wonder if you are available on Friday. Mm -hmm. I like to know if you finished. Mm, have finished. You, you have, have finished your homework. Yes. And remember the capital letter, okay? Capital I. Okay. okay. Yes. If you have, if, have you have, you have finished. finished the auxiliary have have finished. Very good. Very, very good. Okay, guys, are you done or no jet? Mm -hmm. No. No jet, miss. So okay. he working in that. Okay, which number are you working in? Mm. Uh, I have a doubt. Uh, can you speak? Ah, you are in the same as Jose and Carla. Okay. So, oh, Luis Miguel is here. Okay, okay guys, it's okay. Me saco zoom. Yes, don't worry, okay. 
like, I would like to if you like to cook. Okay, like to know. Uh -huh, yes, you would like to know it like if to cook. Okay. Teacher, we have some, some questions. Yes, tell me. Okay, in the first one, for example, uh, I would like to uh, have you ever travel abroad is in, in present perfect, right? Hmm. Uh, uh, we have to, to use, I will, I don't know if it's okay, I would like to know if you travel abroad. In this case, if you have traveled. If you have trouble. Yeah, if you have. If you, if you have. Yes, if you have travel abroad. Travel, travel in base form, right? Yes. Right there, right? Yes. Okay. It changed no, the tra oh. travel without. Eating. No, yes. No, yes, with ED, sorry, with ED. Oh, okay. Yeah. But we have uh, to put have. Yeah, I mean, it should be have with VE. Have in base form. Yes, have. If you have. Uh, yes. I would like to know if you have uh, travel abroad. Uh huh. Yes. You have travel abroad. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It's the same in, in this one, right? All How you right. finish your phone call? Yes, that is correct. I, I wonder if you enjoy the movie. Would you let me know what time is the meeting? Okay. Uh, can you tell me if you're available on Friday? Very good. I would like to know if you have finished your homework. I wonder if you speak any other languages. Can you tell me where you grew up? Okay. I would like to know if you like to cook. Okay. Very good. What other questions do you have? Um, can you yeah. tell me where you grew up? Um, tell me where you grew up. Should be uh, should have a um, question mark. Yes, it should have a question mark. Yeah, it should have. A word. Uh, at the end. Can you tell me where you grew up? Ah. Okay. Yes. Question. Yes. In this one, we, we have to change. Uh, we we have to eliminate till and yes. put the the rule in, in the past form, in right? Past. That is correct. Oh, okay. okay. Very good. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. Is this topic uh more clear? Yes. Yes. I think that is is more clear. More clear. Right? It's more clear? Okay. okay, perfect, guys. Okay, let's go back to the main room. Okay, let's go back. Okay, yes. Okay, so let's continue, guys. Um, I will ask a couple of questions, okay? Uh, just waiting for the other ones to join. Um, okay, Jose, which of the following do you believe in? Give me at least two. Two things that I believe. Yes, that you believe in. Okay. Um... Hmm. I believe in a God and reincarnation. Reincarnation, really? Uh, I think, yeah, sometimes okay. when I don't have anything else better to think. <laughs> Come on, Jose. Okay, all right. What about you, Carla? Give me one thing that you believe in from this list. Um, maybe in the importance of dreams. The importance of dreams, really? Okay, mm, okay, okay, okay. 
<laughs> All right. So, Maurice, what about you? One, one thing that you believe in from this list. For me, I believe uh, only uh, a God. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Nelly, one thing from this list. You are muted, Nelly. Yeah. The importance of dreams. Too. As well, the same as Carla. Yes. <laughs> oh my God, okay. Okay, okay. What about you, Roberto? Um, only one. Yes. Only one. I I believe he, I go. Okay, very good. Um, let me see. What about you? Um, let me see. I can see a lot of listeners. Um, what about you, Abigail? Which of the following do you believe in? One. Mm, uh, God. A God. Okay, perfect. And you, Jonathan? One thing. Okay, obviously. I believe in God, but I believe in U UFOs too. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. And you, Tony? Um, Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> Telepathy. My wife is part in, the, in this in, in this item. <laughs> okay. Okay. And, and you, Emerson? Well, I don't believe in it, Santa Claus. Oh, you don't like believe in horoscopes? Okay. No. Horoscope? Okay. Okay. Now tell me one thing or two things that you believe in. Mm -hmm. And something that you believe in, Emerson? Something that, yes? Um, intelligent life in our planet. Okay. I yeah, I think that we all agree on that one, okay? Well, most of us, right? All right, guys, I'm going to take the attendance and then we are going to take the listening. So if you want, you can go ahead and go to the spreadsheet, okay? While I'll um, pass attendance. Um, let me see. Uh, give me one second. Um, okay. Aleida Esmeralda Amaya. What am I thinking that she's saying? Here, teacher. Thank you. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Omar Linares Cañas. Yes. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Daisy Elizabeth Recinos. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present teacher. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present, Miss. Thank you. Jonathan Jose Gonzalez Dominguez. Present. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sanchez Quiñones. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo Lopez Montes. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Antonio Elias Flores. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera Alvarenga. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Present. Thank you. Kenya Elizabeth Rodriguez. Kenya. Okay. Luis Miguel Corbera Enriquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Marian Scarlett Rodriguez. Mauricio Antonio Velasquez. Present teacher. Thank you, Maurice. Nelly Lilibeth Andrade. Present. Thank you. Pablo Adalberto Abrego. Pablo, eh, Raúl Antonio Jordán Miranda. Yeah, I, okay, thank you, Pablo. Okay, thank you, Raúl. Roberto Esaú Celaya Argumedo. Present. Thank you. Sandra Abigail Bonilla Cano. Present. Thank you, Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Present. Thank you. Eh, Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Let me see, Wendy. Present. Present. Yes, thank you. And Wilber Jonathan Bautista Aguilar. Okay, let's take the listening quiz, guys. Let me sh uh, share that here. There you go. And the code is going to be the same listening. Okay. And let me see. Okay. 
Okay, so here we go. I'm going to play this um, recording three times. Okay, three times. Let me let me share the screen and the the audio. Okay. Okay, here we go. Ryan, I just want you to know that I'm going to school to become an auto mechanic. Oh, uh, what? Does Nad know about this? Who cares? It's my life. I really enjoy working on cars. <sighs> I get it. You want to study auto mechanics because of your new boyfriend. What's his name? Jimmy J or something? Listen, auto mechanics is a man's job. No, you got it all wrong. What? First of all, his name is James. And oh. second, he doesn't work at an auto shop anymore. He had a job there for five years, and he really liked his job because he really learned how to identify and fix problems. You, on the other hand, can't even change the toilet paper roll in the bathroom. Hey, that's not fair. And James is now back in college. He's majoring in nursing. Nursing? Ner that's a woman's job. I cannot believe I'm hearing this. What? A man can be a nurse, and they can do the job just as well as anybody else. Eh. Nurses, whether they're men... Or women can care for the sick, the elderly, and things like that. Ah. And are you saying that women can't be farmers, carpenters, or truck drivers? Well, most men do those jobs. So, and anyway, women could do them if they want. I just think that women are better suited to be secretaries, waitresses, piano teachers, you know. Man, you're stuck in the 18th century. No one will marry you. No, well, just forget this. But... Well, not to change the subject, but I'm having a problem with my car, and I was wondering if Jimmy, I mean James, could take a look at it. Forget it. Start pushing. Ah. Okay. Um, okay, so Carlos Omar, uh, open the, the link, okay? And let me know. I'm ready, teacher. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, here we go again, guys. Ryan, I just want you to know that I'm going to school to become an auto mechanic. Oh, uh, what? Does Nad know about this? Who cares? It's my life. I really enjoy working on cars. <sighs> I get it. You want to study auto mechanics because of your new boyfriend. What's his name? Jimmy J or something? Listen, auto mechanics is a man's job. No, you got it all wrong. What? First of all, his name is James. And oh. second, he doesn't work at an auto shop anymore. He had a job there for five years, and he really liked his job because he really learned how to identify and fix problems. You, on the other hand, can't even change the toilet paper roll in the bathroom. Hey, that's not fair. And James is now back in college. He's majoring in nursing. Nursing? Ner that's a woman's job. I cannot believe I'm hearing this. What? A man can be a nurse, and they can do the job just as well as anybody else. Eh. Nurses, whether they're men... Or women can care for the sick, the elderly, and things like that. Ah. And are you saying that women can't be farmers, carpenters, or truck drivers? Well, most men do those jobs. So, and anyway, women could do them if they want. I just think that women are better suited to be secretaries, waitresses, piano teachers, you know. Man, you're stuck in the 18th century. No one will marry you. No, well, just forget this. But... Well, not to change the subject, but I'm having a problem with my car, and I was wondering if Jimmy, I mean James, could take a look at it. Forget it. Start pushing. Ah. Okay. Here we go again. Ryan, I just want you to know that I'm going to school to become an auto mechanic. A uh, what? Does Nad know about this? Who cares? It's my life. I really enjoy working on cars. <sighs> I get it. You want to study auto mechanics because of your new boyfriend. What's his name? Jimmy J or something? Listen, auto mechanics is a man's job. No, you got it all wrong. What? First of all, his name is James. And oh. second, he doesn't work at an auto shop anymore. He had a job there for five years, and he really liked his job because he really learned how to identify and fix problems. You, on the other hand, can't even change the toilet paper roll in the bathroom. Hey, that's not fair. And James is now back in college. He's majoring in nursing. Nursing? Ner that's a woman's job. I cannot believe I'm hearing this. What? A man can be a nurse, and they can do the job just as well as anybody else. Eh. Nurses, whether they're men 
or women can care for the sick, the elderly, and things like that. Ah.、Uh. And are you saying that women can't be farmers, carpenters, or truck drivers? Well, most men do those jobs. So anyway, women could do them if they want. I just think that women are better suited to be secretaries, waitresses, piano teachers. You know. Man, you're stuck in the 18th century. No one will marry you. No, well, just forget this. But, well, not to change the subject, but I'm having a problem with my car, and I was wondering if Jimmy, I, I mean James, could take a look at it. Forget it. Start pushing. Ah. Okay, you ready? Yes. Okay. And、uh, submit your your answers, okay? The last one is complicated. Yes, the last one, right? Let me see. Ah, okay. Okay, let me see. Um. Okay. All right, guys. Mm, okay. Now let's take the reading. Okay, the reading, the reading quiz. Okay, for the reading quiz, I'm going to share my screen, and you will be able to read、um, the short reading that we have. Okay, so reading is the passcode, and let me share my screen so you can read. Okay, so the reading quiz. Open it, and the reading is this one. Okay, you may read, and then you may answer the questions. Okay, let's give. I mean, just three questions. Let's give. Oh well, but I'm going to. No, I'm not going to put it. Okay, let's start. Teacher, what does mean pen pal? New pen pal. Sorry. What does mean new pen pal? Um, it's like friend. New friend, pen pal. Yeah,、okay. new, yeah it's like、Acronym. a new friend. Yes.、Mm -hmm. Pen pal, ah, it's a it's a a friend by by letters. Yes.
Don't, teacher. Thank you. Okay, let me check um, the scores, okay? Did you finish, guys? All of you? I do. Okay. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, let's continue, guys. Um, all right, so right now, what we're going to take is the last quiz for today, guys, which is about transition words, okay? So the test for transition words is, um, let me see, is the third one, okay? So this quiz is a short quiz. It has, I think, five questions, okay? So you can, um, you can test your skills with transition words, okay? The topic that we covered um, a week ago, right? How many examples did you say that have this? Oh no, it has ten. Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yes. It no, has I think 10. that is in the in the in the wrong place. Okay. Yeah. No, but it has ten. Yes.
teacher, I have a doubt uh, in the number six. Okay. Because I think that the correct weight is the incorrect answer. Let me see. Yes. Okay, too. Me too, teacher. Yes, me too. In fact. Let me see. Let me check. It say otherwise. It does make sense to me. Yes, in fact, it is in fact. Thank you, but I already fixed it. Let me see. Um, Okay. Mm, all right, guys, I already got most of you. Uh, yes, number six was incorrect, all right? So the correct was in fact. So I can see that some of you uh, got that one incorrect. Okay, use that one. Then if you had uh, in fact, it was correct. I have so, 10. <laughs> <laughs> so what I told you, okay, uh, let me see. Um, Yes, I think that we're going to make a review on this topic. Okay, but all right, guys, um, let's, let me go ahead and share my screen again. Give me one second. All right. Okay, now I just need one volunteer, okay? In this case, um, let me ask you guys, would you rather vacation at the beach or the mountains and why? I just need one volunteer in one minute. Give me your answer, yeah? Would you rather vacation at the beach or the mountains? One volunteer. Nobody? Okay. Roberto Esau, can you please share with us, would you rather vacation at the beach or the mountains? Uh, yes. Uh, I think that it is in, in the mountains. Sure. Why? Yes. Because uh, I like the, the, to be in contact with the nature mm -hmm. in general. I like to the activity, the physical activity, right? And I, in the beach, I, I like the beach actually, but uh, there are, is a lot of art, uh, right? I I, uh, I don't like too much uh, the hot uh, weather, right? Um, in the mountain, I think you can do uh, a lot of things, a yes. lot of uh, extremely uh, activities sports mm -hmm. and i like that see yes yeah and usually the in the mountains are are cold are colder than the, the beach yes of course right, right. Yes. <laughs> okay of course. okay thank you all right guys um well yeah i i remember then guys one thing okay well two things the first one um don't forget about the platform Yes, the ones that have not started. Yeah, with the platform, please start the platform, okay? 
Then the second thing is that actually uh, from the academic department, department, so they told me that I need to tell you, right, that you can go ahead and, and enroll on the next module already. Okay, so they start like getting the paper and all of that. So you can go ahead and, and do it. Okay, they also sent a message today, I think. So just for you to um, pay attention to that. All right. And once again, with the platform, do not forget to work on it. Okay. Yes, Tony. At what stage of the platform, the platform should I be? Um, right now, session three, exercise three. Section three, exercise three. Three. Um, after the, the midterm. Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Is, let me see, Maurice? Yeah. Please stay with me, okay? okay. Then, yes, the other ones, guys, um, if you don't have any other questions, thank you very much for being responsible and connecting today. I would like to see you tomorrow, and I hope you have a good night, okay? Thank Take you. care, guys. Thank Good you. Night. Good, night. Good, night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow, guys. Thank you. Uh, bye, mate. See you. Bye. Take care. See you. Good night. Okay. Uh, okay, Maurice. Uh, hey. This short, um, I would say, period of time. Good night, Wendy. It, this a period of time is for us to get the feedback, right, Maurice? Get out in the feedback yeah. step. Very good. Okay, Maurice, let me ask you, okay, how do you feel? How do you feel with our classes? How do you feel? I feel very good. Okay. Uh -huh. I, um, uh -huh. I, I, I extend to exposition. Exposition? No, disposition. Huh? Disposition, yes. Um, I, me cuesta un poquito el listening. Okay. Okay, Marcos. Tengo, uh -huh. es, well, I don't know. Okay. Yes. Um, I practice uh, in the uh, internet and uh, mm -hmm. listen. Yes. Uh, yes, and it is normal, okay? It is normal, Maurice. I mean, it's not something that that it is uh, like worrying, no, okay? It is normal that you are going to find listening kind of difficult at the beginning, yes? But you need to keep uh, studying, practicing. Uh, Maurice, do you have this website? Do you have that website? Tiene el, el website que le mandé en el chat ahorita aquí en Zoom. Mire. Ahorita. Ajá. Tiene ah. ese website. No lo veo. En el chat. Website. What, what is the website? Ajá. El, el link, si se fija en el, el link que le mandé en el chat, lo tiene. Ah, es lado punto Ajá. easy. Sí, okay. lo, lo tiene. Es decir, ¿ya ¿Sí? ha practicado ¿Ya? ahí? No. No, no. ok. Bye. Entonces, no. va, lo que quiero que haga, va a empezar a practicar ahí en su tiempo libre, cuando usted pues tenga tiempo. ¿Qué es lo que ¿Ya? quiero que haga? Fíjese bien, para que usted pueda mejorar su listening. Eh, en este website, ok, en este website que usted tiene el link ya, ahí lo guarda, ok. En este website, Maris, fíjese bien, ¿Sí? si usted se va aquí al, al principio, dice home oh. y después dice dice activity. Muy bien, le va a empezar, va a empezar por easy. Por easy, ajá, ajá, ya. Entonces aquí están muchas muchos audios sí Bien. entonces va a empezar en orden si quiere en orden o el tema que a usted le guste o ¿okay? que al que el que le llame la atención qué va a hacer ¿Eh? 
Fíjese bien, aquí tiene dos opciones. Uno lo reproduce y toma el examen. ¿Sí? O dos, se va hasta abajo, ¿ok? Hasta abajo, donde dice, sí, listening transcript. Entonces le da clic aquí y lo que va a hacer es escuchar y leer al mismo tiempo qué es lo que va diciendo. Uh -huh. Ok, fíjese, le voy a okay. poner este ejemplo, le voy a poner este ejemplo. Por ejemplo, usted viene, le da play y empieza. Hello, today I'm interviewing Joshua on his experiences going to a Japanese school. Now, Joshua, what time do you go to school? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. And do you go by yourself or on a school bus? No, I have a group that goes with me. So you go with a group. Uh -huh. now, now, what kinds of things do you take to school? I take my Tai Sofuku that is gym clothes. And I take my backpack and my books. Oh, okay. And stuff like that. Okay. And what is the first thing you do when you get to school? We do kiddies. Kiritz and de. Now, what are those? It means stand up, okay. bow. Stand up and bow. Uh -huh. Okay. And what do you study at school? We study kokugo, that is writing and reading and stuff like that. Okay. And sanju, that's math. Okay. And let's see. We do gym too. Okay. And where do you eat lunch? Do you have a lunch room or cafeteria? No, we eat in our classroom. You eat in your classroom? Yes. Oh, wow. That is very interesting. Now, what time do you come home from school? We come home sometimes at three and sometimes at two. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Joshua. You're welcome. Okay. So, you see? Yeah. Okay. So, al mismo tiempo que usted va escuchando, va leyendo. Puede empezar así uh -huh. o puede empezar de un solo, de una vez, únicamente escuchando y haciendo el examen. O si usted en el examen saca mala nota, porque aquí le va a decir, digamos que aquí seleccionamos al, al azar, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Entonces, sí. digamos que saca mala y saca dos de cinco. Entonces usted dice, ¿por qué saqué mala nota? Entonces se va a leer y se va a escuchar nuevamente hasta que usted comprenda, ¿ok? ¿Por uh -huh. qué? ¿Por qué es que dice eso? ¿Sí? Yeah. Entonces, esta es una manera para que usted empiece como a, a, a escuchar más audios que, que en realidad le, eh, le califiquen ¿Verdad? Para que usted pueda también ir mejorando y usted vaya uh -huh. viendo su eh, improvement, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. um, this is my recommendation. Esta es como una recomendación que yo le puedo dar, ¿sí? Okay. Para que usted vaya okay. haciendo ejercicios. Ok, uh -huh. muy bien. Bien, eh, ¿qué uh -huh. más? Um, ¿Cómo se ha sentido en, en las actividades, en la speaking, en la gramática que hemos visto, en los temas que hemos visto? ¿Cómo se ha sentido? Uh, I feel good, but uh, uh, there are there is a word I know noble que no las conozco. Oh, okay. Uh, yes. Uh, for me, new word. Yes, I know. Okay, yes, como uh, me, me dice de que um, hay bastante vocabulario el cual es nuevo, ¿verdad? El cual, el cual es nuevo yeah. y el cual probablemente, exacto, como nunca lo habíamos escuchado y es un mm -hmm. vocabulario técnico, yeah. eh, a veces lo sentimos un poco complicado, ¿verdad? Okay. Y eh, es pues normal, ¿verdad? Porque recordemos que el proceso de aprendizaje es ese. El proceso de aprendizaje básicamente cuando usted empieza a ver cosas nuevas y es ahí donde surge el aprendizaje. Entonces, Maurice, eh, lo quiero felicitar primero porque he visto que en este módulo, igual al anterior, porque lo tuve en el anterior, siempre ha participado, pero en este módulo lo he visto que ha participado aún más. 
¿ok? Entonces, eh, eso es muy bueno sí. porque usted, eh, usted se reta a usted mismo. Y eso sí. es algo bien esencial cuando uno está aprendiendo un idioma. Eh, en este caso, felicitarlo porque veo sí. todo el empeño que le pone. Ok, y el empeño pues al final okay. eh, lento, tal vez puede ser que el listening vayamos un poquito lento, pero no importa porque al final el objetivo lo va a lograr si usted continúa como usted está en este momento, ¿sí? Okay. Así que eh, eso pues quería mencionarle porque sí he visto okay. el, el, no el cambio, sino que la participación más activa en este módulo porque el anterior siempre participaba, pero en este ha venido más activo todavía, y eso es muy bueno. Ok. Ok, es, um, okay. teacher, pero, una pregunta. Yes. Es de que aparte de este curso que estoy recibiendo, estoy siguiendo es lo que es el, y quiero saber su opinión. Ok. Si estoy perdiendo el tiempo o no, estoy tratando okay. con el Duolingo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, uh -huh. no sé si tiene idea de qué es el programa, pero es un programa para que uno pueda aprender inglés. Sí. También. Ok, bye. ¿Y cómo se siente con Duolingo a usted? Eh, eh, es necesario interactuar con personas así como este grupo. Es necesario. Correcto. Eh, con el Duolingo no solo es lectura, y algunas cosas gramaticales. Uh -huh. Es importante también, ¿verdad? Pero más Correcto. sin embargo, no lo, estoy, no lo estoy haciendo de lado. Okay. O sea, ya voy a tener otro más y que, que voy a tener que leer. El, 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 el. Uh -huh. Bien, Pero, uh -huh. no, no. Um, Muy bien. Fíjense de que usted ha dicho algo muy clave. Um, es importante la interacción con otras personas. Duolingo es muy bueno cuando usted está dando como um, sus inicios en el idioma. Ajá, ajá. Entonces ya a este nivel donde usted está necesita interactuar. Entonces no estamos dejando que Duolingo no sea bueno porque en realidad lo es. Entonces eh, tal vez le, el Duolingo puede también llenar ciertas áreas que tal vez eh, tiene ciertos como vacíos todavía, ¿verdad? Entonces es importante que si usted tiene el tiempo también lo continúe, o sea, por eso no hay ningún problema. Porque el, el aprendizaje pues creo que es bueno de Duolingo y también que usted aprende incluso más cosas que tal vez no lo mencionamos aquí, pero lo, lo aprende ahí. Entonces... Creo que si lleva las dos cosas y tiene el tiempo para las dos cosas, está bien. Ahora, si usted me, me dice, teacher, yo me quiero decidir entre uno y el otro. Decídase por el cual usted sienta que le beneficia más. En este caso, la interacción, como usted me lo ha dicho, es muy importante. Así Porque solo así usted se sale de su zona de confort, de solo aprender palabras, de solo aprender frases, de solo leer. Aquí ya viene usted y habla. Entonces, uh -huh. eh, ese sí. es mi consejo, ¿verdad? Gracias. Que ambos son buenos, ambos, pero la interacción uh -huh. es más importante. Uh -huh. Sí. Eh, ¿Tiene alguna pregunta de la plataforma, Maris, de, de las clases, de algo que me quiera comentar? Eh, de las plataformas, ya he llegado, tenía problemas con el pecho, eh, pero como no había recibido esa clase. Sí. Y hasta esta semana la recibimos, sí, ya resolví la plataforma. Ajá. Ya estoy al 100% con la sí. plataforma. Entonces, eh, pero sí se complica más porque al profundizar lo que es, lo que en direct question, eh, hay muchas dudas, pero ya me metí a una hoja de internet para poder leer más, leer y comprender un poquito más y hacer cierto ejercicio. Ok, perfecto, Maris. Sí, en ese caso, pues, esa semana todavía vamos a tener como un repaso de eso. Vamos a hacerlo el día viernes, pero eh, lo que usted hace que indaga más del tema es muy bueno. Ok, entonces continúe haciéndolo y okay. eh, si sí, lo de la plataforma yo ya revisé y si usted está al 100%, así que también por eso lo felicito porque siempre es de los primeros que la termina. Entonces, eh, pues nada más agradecerle su responsabilidad, 
¿verdad? Y pues, eh, si no tienen alguna otra duda, alguna otra pregunta, Maurice, vamos a dejar el feedback hasta aquí. Y si usted en el sí. camino le surge, me hace saber. Diga. Vale, yo se lo voy a explicar, pero tenía una, porque algunos compañeros reciben algún como diploma, título o algo, un certificado, no sé, de cada curso que ustedes, que nosotros estamos tomando. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? ¿Y, y okay. usted no lo recibe? No. Ok, voy a, voy a reportar no sé. esto. Sí, Digo, a la empresa sí recibe las notificaciones, que he pasado el curso, todo, pero uh -huh. yo veo que a otros compañeros sí les mandan. Okay. Eh, y que reciben así cursos así que en internet uh -huh. yo no tengo esa duda okay. pero lo, que lo importante es el conocimiento que estás adquiriendo el papel pues. sí, pero, pero es importante que, que, que me lo haya hecho saber para yo poder indagar qué sucede entonces lo voy a reportar y eh, en ese caso creería yo que administración se va a comunicar con usted, ok ok, okay. okay. solamente Ok, thank you. So, um, good night, Maurice. Take care and I'll good see night. you back tomorrow. Ok, good night. Ok, bye. Bye-bye.